Detroit City. The Tigers, the pride and joy of the great city of Detroit. Sort of. Actually, the Tigers have a surprisingly large effect on the city. Our group studied the effects of Tigers games on service industries in Detroit. Our research resulted in unanimous findings. I looked at hotels specifically, and the facts are clear. When more people come into town to watch big games, and the demand for hotels goes up, yet the supply remains the same, the price goes up as well. Since the hotels realize that people will voluntarily exchange more money for a room during a Tigers game, they jack up their prices. From this chart, you can see the price of hotels on days with, with and without Tigers games. Here, on the 20th to the 21st, there's not a Tigers game in town, and the prices are all lower. On the 20th to the 20, 22nd to the 23rd, the prices go up for every hotel. On the 29th to the 30th, the prices are back down to their lower to their lower prices. And on May 5th to 6th, you'll notice that, that two of the hotels don't even have uh, numbers on here, and that's because they're completely sold out. I personally research transportation to and from games within limo services. Three actually, luxury limousines, Rochester limos, and Larry's limos. Now as you can see, with the red line being games and the blue line being no games, luxury limousine starts with no games at around 30 calls a week just for regular transportation. But when there's games, they get around 50 calls a week. As you can see, for Rochester Limousine, they get around 20 or so calls a week with no games, but they shoot up to 40 with when there is games. And for Larry's Limousines, they don't get much. They get 15 calls a day just regarding transportation. And then when there's a game, they get close to around 50 calls. Hi, I'm standing in front of the Town Pump Tavern, Tavern in the heart of Detroit. As you can see from my graph, I researched the food, restaurants, and their association with the Tigers game. And the taverns and the local bars and grills tended to have tons more customers than they would have normally. For example, the Town Pump Tavern would start off with about 100 customers a night, but before a game, they would actually increase their sales to 200 customers, and after a Tigers game, sales would go up to 300 customers a night. Also, in the local bars and grills, we have 300 customers like before the game because everyone wants, everyone wants to like, you know, party before the game I guess. So they're all at the bars and the grills, which is good. And basically, restaurants are very popular before and after Tigers games. This that's my home. Is Detroit. And that's her home. We that's live where, together. That's where we live. This is everything I own in this bag. It's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Ha <laughs> ha.